without talking to your neighbor, decide what kind of sports ball you're going to play with right now. And I want you to, without telling it, <clears throat> use your hands to show me the size of your ball and maybe the weight. What, what that ball that I'm using? Is it heavy or light? Heavy. How did you know? What did I use to tell you? My body, right? I showed you it was heavy. Am I holding a bowling ball? Do I have a heavy bowling ball? So what did I use? My body, right? Okay, so use your hands and your body and show me what type of ball you're going to play with right now. Got it. Now move it around. Good, good. <clears throat> move it around. Form it with your hands. Got it. You're showing me. Guess what, guys? You're telling me a story. Okay, freeze. <clears throat> now, think about that ball. Leave it for a second. I want you to think of one really crumb, don't say it out loud, one crummy thing that has happened to you, what is it, Thursday, this week. One thing that just, it could even have happened this morning, right? Just one thing, can be big, can be small, can be, well, my daughter woke up this morning, she didn't have the breakfast she wanted, so she was a little annoyed, right? So one bad thing, it could be my car broke down this week, you know? Okay, so think of that one bad thing, okay? I want you to think of it. And I'm going to count to three. And as I'm counting to three, you're going to take that bad thing and you're going to put it in your body. And you're going to give it a sound. Watch, just listen. And as I'm counting to three, you're going to take that bad thing and you're going to mold it into your ball. Like, oh, 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 right? That bad thing, you're going to mold it into your ball. Ready? I want you to use your whole body and a sound. Ready? Get that bad thing. Come on, ready? You got it? You got it in your mind? Ready? You can do it. I know you can. One. Let me hear it. Oh. Two. Three. Okay, okay. This is the bad ball. This is the bad ball. We got to get rid of this bad ball because we're going to create in here. So when I get to three, uh, you're going to get rid of uh, that ball. However, you get rid of that ball, right? And I want you to raise the roof, bust the windows. See, ladies and gentlemen, we have some creating to do here today. And bad stuff happens all the time. In my life, your life, everybody's life. We got to acknowledge that stuff, get it out, so we got room for some good stuff, all right? Ready? Get that ball. Get that ball. Let me feel it, all that bad stuff. Now I'm going to count to three, and when I get to three, you're going to get rid of it with a sound and a movement. Ready? One. Got that ball. Got that ball. Two. Three. Okay. One more time, because I don't believe some people. Louder. One. Get me. Get rid of it. Add a sound. Two. Three. All right. Breathe in through your nose out through your mouth, in through your nose, all the way to your toes, and out your mouth. So right now I want you to put your hands on your, on your hips. Now, yes, Superman, uh, woman, right, hands on your hips, and now I want you to look down and make sure that your feet are under your hips. Watch this, don't need to talk. This is not under my hips, right? This is not under my hips, right? This is under my hips. And your toes are pointed straight out. There you go. Bend your knees just a little bit. And I want you to imagine that you have, at the bottom of your feet, roots. And you're rooting yourself into the ground. OK? Put your hands down for me. Shoulders up, back, down, exaggerate, forward, up, back. It feels funny. Down. Forward, exaggerate, up, back, down. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I see some hearts. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. So watch this. When I ask you to breathe, watch this. Can you tell me, stay in, stay in this position. I'm going to tell you what this position is called in a minute. When I breathe in, can you tell me where my breath is stopping? Watch. Where did my breath stop? In my shoulder. Watch this again. Oh, here. It stopped here. And if our breath stops here, then when we start talking, we give out a lot faster and our throat starts to hurt. 
we have a thing here called our body, right? And our diaphragm is inside and low in here, and that's what we fill up with air. So I want you to breathe in and imagine, you know when you were little and you were learning to swim and you had that little inner tube with the duck on it, you know? Maybe you didn't have the duck on it, but a little inner tube. So I want you to imagine when you breathe in, you're not just breathing here, but you're filling up your sides and your back. So try not to stop with your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, and on a count of three, I want you to breathe in to that, to that inner tube. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Exhale. <laughs> Got to relax. It's kind of funny doing it this way, isn't it? This is actually the natural way that you're supposed to breathe. When you lay down, when you go home tonight, you lay down. When you breathe in, your stomach comes up, and when you exhale, it goes down. But for some reason, when we stand up and we're in school or working, we kind of go, <gasps> we got to breathe from here. We want to breathe from here. As a storyteller, as an actor, and I'll tell you in a minute who I am, I have to use this. I am much stronger telling my story and the stories that I am hired to tell. I am much stronger using what I've been given and my breath. So breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now, both feet on the floor, hip distance apart, shoulders up back, down. Ladies and gentlemen, and you're, you don't, knock, don't lock your knees, bend them just a little bit. This is called neutral position. Say that with me. Neutral position. Now, what is this? And what comes off my spine? Vertebrae. And what's in them? Nerves. And what, what do my nerves create in my heart? Sometimes pain. Emotions. Emotions, that's right, emotions. And as a storyteller or an actor, I have to access my emotions to help tell a story. Because if I told every story like this, hi, my name is Miss Purcell, I'm really happy to be here. If I told every story like this, it'd be kind of a boring story, wouldn't it? I mean, sometimes a character needs to be like this, right? But I still have to show, I'm, I'm showing you my emotions, right? All right? So we need to access our emotions. So we start from a clean place. Neutral position. Neutral, just breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Repeat after me. Tit, 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 ta. Tit, 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 ta. Tit, 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 ta. Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Tit, 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 pa, pa, pa. Tit, tit, tit. Pa, pa, pa. So what does this require you to use? Breath. Your breath. What kind of muscles? Brain and stuff, jawbone, your mouth, your tongue. Do this with me. Tit, 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 ta. Good. I want you to exaggerate. Look as silly as possible. Think you can do that? Tit, 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 ta. <laughs> Great. Where does your tongue touch in your mouth when you say that? The roof. The roof. Behind your front teeth, right? It's very specific. We've been given all these parts, and they're very specific. Every sound happens in a different place and relationship in our mouth. So, tit, 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 ta. Pa, 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 pa. Uh oh. What happened to your tongue? On um, pa. Where'd it go? Down. That's right, down front. Do you see how that happens? Tit, 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 ta. Pa, 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 pa. Tit, 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 pa, pa, pa. Tit, 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 pa, pa, pa. Neutral position. All right, we're going to talk more about that in a minute. So, on a count of three, can you. No, we're going to do something really quickly. All right, put your hands on your hips. And now I want you to get your punchers out, but don't touch anybody. Okay, get your punchers out. You're gonna punch, you're gonna punch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start your right arm, everybody raise your right arm, and you're gonna punch to your left without touching anybody, across your body, let me see, yep. And then you're gonna go the opposite. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna go the opposite. And then you're gonna go the opposite. And you're gonna keep your feet planted, like rooted in the ground, ready? With me. We're gonna say punch, 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 all right? And you're going to really use your abs. Tighten your abs. Ready? One, two, three. Punch, punch, punch. Let me hear the P's. Punch, 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 punch. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. 
down, 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 down. Punch, 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 punch. Let's freeze on a count of three. Let's all clap together. One, two, three. We're going to take one clap, pass it around the room. We're going to pass it around the circle. I'm going to start. I'm going to turn to my right. You're going to turn to your left, but we're going to leave our feet what? Planted. Planted into the ground, right? And we are going to look at each other, and we're going to clap at the same time, okay? Now, we cannot look at our, we can only look in our, the eyes are the windows to the, have you ever heard that? What does that mean? Can someone tell me what you think that means? You can tell what someone's going to do next. The, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What do you think that means? See, see the future? I think, it, it, you know, those have parts to it. But I think the eyes are the window to the soul, meaning when you look in someone's eyes, you really see who they are. And our soul is a very vulnerable place in our body, right? So we're going to look in each other's eyes. Is it easy to have eye contact? Yes. No. No. I want to know why is it not easy for some of us and why is it easy for some? Why is it easy for you? Not so short. Oh, okay. But is it uncomfortable when you look someone in the eyes? Yes. Yeah, and what is uncomfortable about it? Okay, and what about you? They take you seriously. Oh, no, what would happen? That happens. Uncomfortable for you? What's uncomfortable about it? Okay, but eye contact actually helps take you more seriously. Right? You can trust someone with eye contact. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's start this. See if we can do it. Now, it's coming to you. So I'm going to turn this way. We're going to clap at the same time. Right, and she's gonna turn. You guys are gonna clap at the same time. Uh huh. 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 Nice. Eye contact. Eyes. 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 Here we go. Oh, 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 that's okay. Now I've got a question. You know what? What happens when you mess up? Just go again. Yeah. I mean, I, most of the time I do try again. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be in front of you. Um, most of the time I do try again, and I just go right immediately. But sometimes, what do you do when you mess up? You get mad, you laugh. Sometimes I want to throw up when I mess up. Like in front of a thousand people when I have to do a show sometimes, and I mess up, it's like, <gasps> right? Sometimes when I mess up, I get mad at other people. Does that ever happen to you? And I get mad at myself. I'm working on that. That's not a great thing to do. So today as we work, we're going um, to we're gonna mess up. And it's OK to mess up. It's what you do with the mess up that matters, right? If I let the mess up just go, mm, I'm going to quit, I'm going to stop, is that really helping? No. No, but if you take that mess up and you go, OK, I see it and I can move forward. Let's try that, all right? Here we go. Start again. Clap. Eye contact. Energy. Energy. There you go. Keep going. Uh, oh, 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 eye contact. Good. Okay, now, remember we talked about that bad thing? Now I want you to think of a good thing. Don't say it. Think of a good thing that happened to you this week or today. And I want you to rub it in between your hands. Think of it. Ooh, what's happening in your hands? You got some friction. Right, all right. So we're going to pass this good thing around the room. I'm going to give her the good thing. She's going to add it to hers, and she's going to pass it. She's going to add hers. She's going to pass it. She's going to add it, and we are going to have a bundle of good things going around this room, okay? Now, now, do we pass good things like this? No, we got energy. We're excited, all right? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? I want you to listen to the rhythm as you're sharing your good thing, okay? Ready? All hands can be still, ready to go. It's coming to you. You know it's coming to you, right? Let's listen to the rhythm. Eye contact. Can we do this? Yeah. You think? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Eye contact. Breathe. Rhythm. Rhythm. Good. Nice. Yeah. So use that. There you go. Eye contact. Good. Go. Good. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Eye contact. Eye contact.
contact. Nice jumping in. Nice jumping in. Oh, listen. Listen to this rhythm. See if we can keep it. See if we can keep it. Shh. All right. You can do this. You can. It will not hurt you. Listen. Listen to the rhythm. Listen. That's okay. That's okay. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go. We're going to start again. That's okay. What do we do when we mess up? Yeah, no big deal, right? Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, Holly. Is that not your name? Sorry. Come on. 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 Yes. can sit, wait, I want you to sit as if you are a pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. Good. Let me see my pumpkins. Mm -hmm. I got the stem. So tell, tell me your pumpkin story also with your face. What's it carved as? Yeah, there we go. Is it spooky? Spooky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's scary. All right, good. So what did you notice when we were passing that clap around the circle? Okay, it got faster. What else? Rhythm. Rhythm got smoother. Yes. They were holding their breath in anticipation of the clap. What else did you notice? You were having fun? Wow, that's great. Sometimes when we just invest ourselves and have fun. Yes, what else? What did you notice over here? Anything? It was slow. <laughs> wow. All right, so I know you meant that as a joke, but we don't, I'm really keen on building people up when I'm with a team. And I, and I mean, I know you were just having fun, but I do think sometimes we need to be clear when we're having fun, you know, that we're building up. Because I used to be one of those people that would get really embarrassed when, when people would say that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, so, so got it. Okay, you noticed, okay, he, what did you notice when you messed up? You tried again, right? I mean, you didn't really mess up, but when you, you just tried again, okay. What did you guys notice? Anything? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, what? The rhythm, yeah. Yes? Some of us didn't keep eye contact. Some people didn't, okay. And if you, did, did you sometimes? No. How did that feel? Natural, uncomfortable, comfortable? Uncomfortable, okay. What about you? Okay, so I really want to hear what you have to say. So can you project your voice, which means get your voice all the way there. And that's why you have to use that breath that we talked about. There was a reason we did that exercise, okay. So just give it to me, loud and clear. I feel that we connected. Yeah, there was connection going around the room. You know, because we took that energy and we had eye contact and we were doing around the room. It's pretty cool when it happens. It doesn't always happen like you guys did, and you got really cohesive, and that was really cool. So, um, does anybody have any idea why I'm here and who I am? It's okay if you don't. I remember you. Yeah, I did come into your class one time, um, when you guys were learning about government. Government, yeah. And I was on a team, of, we were making laws and stuff like that, right? So my name is Mrs. Purcell, and um, I work with a company called Arts Now Learning, and we um, go throughout the state and work with different classes and schools and teachers. And we really believe in the imagination and in, in the creative arts. And um, me personally, I, am, I teach drama and theater. I'm an actress. I do film and television. And then I also run a program with teen girls uh, where we write plays and act them out. And um, I do stage work myself, and I do a lot of directing. So I love theater. I, really, what I love is storytelling. I love to tell stories. I love to read stories. I love to watch stories. I'll answer in just a second. So, but what I realized is when I was, it was about fifth grade, what grade are you guys? Seventh. Seventh, okay. I about fourth or fifth grade. I started to realize, uh, like, if a word problem came on my desk, I'd be like, I would just, like, 
Did that ever happen with word problems with you? I was just like, oh no, it was too confusing, right? And I started realizing I learned differently than the person next to me, than my best friend learned, and that was good, that we all learn our own ways, you know? We have our unique ways of doing things. So I started to really accept that. And um, I realized I needed to use my imagination with the facts in my learning, and in my body, and in, I need to kind of make everything a story. So that's why I became an activist, and that's why I do what I'm doing here today. So when I say, what question did you ask? Oh, we'll talk about that later. I just played a zombie on The Walking Dead on Sunday night. Zombie. Um, so when I say, or when I write this, what do you, what do you think of? Raise your hand. Can you see this? What is that? In public speaking. What do you think of when I say that? Yes. Okay, so public speaking, what makes her, it makes her think of going to places with thousands of people and teaching kind of thing? Okay, what about you? Okay, so I want to hear you because I think what you have to say is really important. But if I can't hear your story, then I can't. Okay, public speaking, you think it's like a global thing, yes? Okay, so doing it on the TV, yes? On a podium speaking, they're going to be teachable thousands of people. Yeah, uh huh, podium speaking. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Speaking to a bunch of people at once. Speaking to a bunch of people at once. Yeah. Public speaking means a lot of things, and you guys touched on a lot of things. Um, speaking to a big group of people, standing on a stage, or speaking and have it broadcast over TV or something, right? Speaking, I, I just kept hearing lots of people. Yes, yeah, public speaking sometimes does involve a lot of people. Tell me some people that might be considered public speakers, some people in our lives that have their professions that might be considered that they are public speakers. So we've got an, yes. The president, right. A politician, right, especially when they're campaigning. They're up speaking in public, right. Who else? Actors. Actors, yes. And who else? Teachers, right. Preachers, and all of those. So those are public speakers. It's standing up and sharing something. But really, the, all they're doing is they're really telling stories. They're telling stories and trying to move you to either vote for them or to learn what they're trying to teach you, right? Or to believe what they're trying to, what they're saying they believe in, right? So really, public speaking is storytelling. Now, I'm an actress, and really my job is to tell stories, right? It's really what I do when, I, when, I was, uh, when I'm in a movie or a play or a TV show, I'm just part of the story, and I'm telling the story. So today we're going to think about storytelling. What kinds of stories do you like? Talk to me. Scary. You like scary ones. Comedies. Comedies. Adventure. Do you like to read books? No. 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 Do you like to watch movies? Yes. Do you like to go to the theater? Yes. Do you ever sit and in, in, in watch? Yeah. Okay. And see live performance, a play, a theater. All those are forms of storytelling. Either you're reading it or you're telling it, right? So as an actor or a storyteller, what do I use <coughs> to tell a story? Can you tell me what do I use? My what? My breath. Uh-huh. My imagination, that's fabulous. I do use my mind, yes. My energy, yes. My body, what else? Can you think of anything else? If I stood up here. My voice, I can use my voice. So, do this with me. This is what I use to help tell a story. Body, do that with me from where you're sitting. That's fine. Voice. Face, Face. Mind. Mind. Heart. Heart. 
Let's do it again. One, two, three, all together. One, two, three. Body, voice, face, mind, and heart. Right. So we know we already explored how we use our body, right, when we were doing, when I showed the bowling ball, right? I used my body doing that. And voice, didn't we uh, warm up our voice a little bit? Okay, on the count of three, I want you to stand up as if you are a, a zombie. One, two, three. Show that, show me what in your body. Nice. <laughs> All right, zombies. All right, up, zombies. Now, repeat after me. The big blue, oh, neutral position. We know what that is, right? Make sure our feet are where they need to be. And you know why our feet are underneath our hips? Why do you think they're not here? Oh, because we blew Yes, you have, you're stronger when you're right underneath your hips. You're stronger. You've got more strength, right? So you've almost got like a trunk. So when you're up in front of your class sharing something you've written, think about you're a tree and you're rooted into the ground. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Let's relax this and breathe into our diaphragm. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Repeat after me. The big blue bug. The big blue bug. So I could say the big blue bug. The big blue bug. What's the difference? The big blue bug. Or the big blue bug. I am using my face. I'm using my, my voice. But I'm also, what am I doing with the words? I am e enunciating. Right, I am enunciating. When you enunciate, you need to push the consonants, right? The big Blue bug. Think of the consonants. Bit the big black bear. So start with me. The big blue bug. The big blue bug. Exaggerate those consonants. The big blue bug. The big blue bug. Bit the big black bear. Bit the big black bear. And the big black bear. And the big black bear. Bled blue black blood. Red, blue, black, blood. So, good. Neutral position, right? Shoulders up and back. We're going to breathe. And I want you to push, exaggerate those consonants. I don't know if your parents say this, but my parents used to always say this, and I'm also a mother, and I say this to my children a lot. I can't understand you. I can't understand you. Do they ever say that? Yeah. 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 I, you're mumbling, right? So this is how to not mumble. Next time they say that, say, okay, mother. Okay. Push the consonant. Say that with me. Okay, mother. Okay, mother. She will fall down. You will have to pick her up. All right, repeat after me. The big blue bug. The big blue bug. Bit the big black bear. Bit the big black bear. And the big black bear. last time we're going to do it and this time I want you to use your face you're using your voice very well you're enunciating right and you're projecting getting your voice across the room but now we need to involve our what face, face and our body see if you can tell me the story make it interesting if we don't make it interesting we have to do it again ready repeat after me ready oh you guys are the grizzlies you got this in cover right? all right here we go I'm going to do it very straight because I want you to help tell the story using your face, your voice, and your body. And your heart. Ready? The big blue bug. The big blue bug. Bit the big black bear. Bit the big black bear. And the big black bear. And the big black bear. Lead blue black blood. Lead blue black blood. Just a round of applause. Wow. All right. So I want you to grab a chair on a count. Wait, wait. On a count of five, without discussing with your neighbor, 
I want you to grab a chair and just sit in it in your circle. Go! One, two, three, four. of different characters in my lifetime. One time I was in the Velveteen Rabbit and I had to play a big ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. How do you play a ball, right? I had to use my, do this with me, body, what else? Voice, face, mind, heart. Right. So I had to use all of that. Now, with last night, I had a long day yesterday. Fixed everybody at dinner, everybody got to bed. I finally sat down and I said, oh, can I just sit here for a minute? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> what am I doing? Okay, now what's happening? You're scrolling. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. Oh my gosh, it's Justin Bieber. I just got, it's Justin Bieber. I don't think that was it. Um, so I got interested, right? How did I get interested? What happened? So I wanted, like, you looked at a TV show. Okay, yeah, I wanted a TV show, but what did it do? It caught my attention. Yeah, I want to go a little deeper. I think it actually caught my heart. It actually, I connected to it, right? Now, at first I might connect something here, but I don't really stay on it very long. But if it's my mind and my heart, I stay on it. So uh, next to my bed, on my bedside table, I have about four or five books stacked up. Some of them I'm on like chapter two, some chapter eight, some I'm almost finished. But now a couple days ago, I got a new book and I finished that book in two days. Why did I finish that book and I can't finish these other books? There was a connection, right? There was a connection. And now sometimes, like in school, when I, in, um, even when I'm teaching, in anything I do, sometimes I don't feel the connection. But as an actor, you gotta make the, you got to make the connection happen. So I have to use all those parts, my breath, my voice, my body, my mind and my heart to get myself there. Just like some days probably you don't want to come to school and you got to get yourself together because you have to come to school, right? You could choose to just come to school and go through the motions. Or you could really say, you know what? Let's do it. You show up. All of you shows up. Seems like y'all do that in this room. That's great. Okay, so my point is, if we don't care or find something to care about whatever we're doing, nobody else is going to care. If I, if I ask you to write a paragraph about um, the Civil War and you just don't care about it, you think anybody's going to care about reading that? No. no. But if I find or two things I actually care about that sparks my heart, sparks my mind, and put it in my writing, then I like snowballing into it, right? So it's just like that with storytelling and with creating characters, okay? So right now, I want you to imagine uh, I, that you are a thug. Do you know what a thug is? You're maybe, like not all rappers are thugs, but let's be a rapper. Be a rapper. Sit like a rapper sits. Like, right, don't talk yet, just sit like, yeah, go ahead. It, sometimes it feels funny and silly because I'm asking you guys to use your imagination and to go outside your body. Yeah, sit like that rapper says. Now, I want you to imagine. Now, when I'm asking you to do this, I want you to sit different than you sit because you're creating characters. You're telling stories, right? Good. So imagine, like, real. now give me, give me the look on the face of your rapper. Give me your rapper's face. Yeah, different than your own. Nice. Just a little change is great. You're a laughy rappy. Uh-huh. 
Here we go. Uh-huh. Good. Okay, now I want you to imagine. So I want you to imagine you have on an article of clothing that you don't really have on, but your wrapper has something on. Like maybe your wrapper has on a what's this? Maybe you're probably not, but maybe your wrapper has on a tie, right? Do I actually have a hat on? No. Do I actually have a top? No. What did I use to show you? Mushroom hands. My hands, my body. Right. Okay. So I want you to imagine is there, there has to be, put something on your wrapper in his hands or something that he's wearing that you're not wearing. Uh, let me see it. Adjust it. Show me. Bandana. All right. There you go. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose, all the way to your toes, and out your mouth. Now, I'm going to give you a second, and on a count of three, I want you to say, hey, my name is whatever your rapper name is. So don't say it out loud right now. Think of what your rapper's name is. Make it up. I don't want you to do a famous rapper's name. I want you to have your own unique rapper, okay? On a count of three, I want you to introduce yourself as your rapper but I want you to use a different voice. This is what creating characters is all about. So would your rapper's voice be really high? Probably not. Would your rapper's voice be really low? Maybe not. So if you can hear the sound of my voice, clap your hands two times. We can create character voices by changing the pitch the pitch of our voice, right? The pace of our voice. Hi, I'm, 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 hi, I'm really, hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? What is pace? The speed, that's right. The pitch, the pace. Even the quality. I could have a really breathy voice. I could have a really breathy Or I could have a very full voice. All right? You've got qualities to your voice. So what I want you to do, change your voice. Just play around with it. It feels kind of silly at first. Decide what kind of voice your rapper has right now. Introduce yourself on a count of three. One, two, three. Hey, my name. Good, let me hear it. What's yours? Rapper body. And on a count of three, you're going to say, hey, my name is whatever your name is, and I want you to tell me what you had for breakfast. Ready? Hey. Ready? This isn't for your neighbor. Say it out loud. One, two, three. Hey, Yo, my name is Chris. And I have Chris, now you are a queen. Sit like a queen or a king. A queen. No, sit like a queen. Sit like a queen. Okay. Got it? You're a queen. Okay, I want you to imagine your queen has something on that you don't actually have on. I don't know what that might be. How would your face change as a queen? Right. How would you sit differently? That's right. That's right. Now, on a count of three, I want you to come up with a queen voice different than your rapper voice. And I want you to introduce yourself and tell me what you had for breakfast. One, two, three. <laughs> Now I want you to be the President of the United States. I want you to stand up like the President stands while he's giving a speech. How would your feet be? How would your feet feel? Where would your hands be? I don't know. Maybe. You're, the, you, you can all do it differently. That's the great thing about storytelling. If you can use your imagination, you can put your individual stamp on your characters. That's what's so fun 
You don't have to be yourself. You could be somebody else for a minute. All right? So let me see the president. Yes. Could be a girl. A woman, too, right? All right, and on a count of three, I want your voice to be different than your queen. Introduce yourself. One, two, three. Oh, we are in big trouble. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Now, I want you to imagine there is a little baby, a little uh, puppy. Just a little puppy. Wait, wait, wait. And you are, you are four years old. Hold on. You're four years old. And you are... You are trying to get this puppy to come to you, but you can't leave where you are. You're trying to get the puppy. I want you to think, how would your voice sound and what would your body do? Go! One, two, three. Freeze! Freeze! Now it is past your curfew and you are your mother or your father. Stand up like your mother or your father. If you walk in, hold on. You walk in, or if it's not curfew for you, then um, you have done something they are not happy about, right? Okay, so I, how's your face? How's your face? On a count of three, I want you to get your child, middle school child, over to you without saying a word. One, two, three. Without saying a word. Without saying, use your body to show me, yeah. Now I want you to say something. One, two, three. Doma chocolate! Doma chocolate! 